Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Drea, is in Designs by Drea. Drea is me, I am the Drea. I am the serial crafter and digitizer at designsbydreaco.etsy.com. That's me. We're back for another embroider with me video because who else are you gonna embroider with but this gal? We're making these cutie patooties today. Strawberry milk. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Great. Well, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Like this video if at any point you find it entertaining in any way. This is a great thing to follow along if you've bought the design, preview the design, or maybe you just like to watch embroidery designs because that's what you like. Uh, for me, I like to watch people also embroider in their embroidery businesses. Etsy studio vlog videos, uh, pack orders, and I really love when people do those fun glitter tumblers. I love watching all those videos on YouTube. So thank you for being here. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you get updated every time I upload a video. That's great. For those of you who don't know, I do have a Facebook group. It is Drea's Felty Friends. What happens in this Facebook group? Um, it's for people to share the things they make with my felties, ask questions if you're new to embroidery design, and also if you're here to embroider, you get free felty files every single month one file a month of my choosing you get it for free and it's always new it's not something that's in the shop it's always new guys and it's free and at any point if you join you can always scroll back through all the posts and click the links to download all the other months you missed it's fabulous okay fabulous it's fabulous love it all right so enough chit chat let's get right into the video Okay, and here we are, ready to start. But before, first things first, always remember, hoop stabilizer into your hoop, the stabilizer of your choice. Today I'm using a medium terawatt stabilizer hooped into my hoop. All right, so here we go. We're doing strawberry milk today. Fun fact, as a kid, I hated milk, but I did enjoy strawberry milk, and this is just bringing all the childhood feels back to me as we make a cute box or kawaii box of strawberry milk. Oh, I love this guy. I'm so excited. I've been waiting to do this on my personal bucket list. I also want to do banana and blueberry milk. I think that would be super cute. All right, let's get started. First things first, we always start with the placement stitch. Step two, tack down. I skip this step. Instead, I have put down my felt that is big enough to cover all the stitches and leave room for me to cut them out later. And I'm going to move on to the third color. The third color of this design are going to be these cute little stars that are just kind of sprinkling all over the milk carton. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to choose my favorite butter yellow. My favorite butter yellow is actually Madeira 1727, okay? So let's go ahead and get that rolling and yeah, okay, just real quick, <laughs> side note. Uh, I have a two-year-old, um, she's nonverbal and doesn't speak, um, but she is on the spectrum. So she makes a lot of sounds in the background. Her therapist let me know that that's actually a sensory thing that she does when everything's a little too overwhelming. She makes these noises to try to kind of essentially regulate herself. So she's not particularly fond of tutorial day. So um, she's just going to be um, the music you hear, part of the music you hear in the background. That's just kind of how it is when you live my life. So um, welcome to our little family. Let's go ahead and get those stars stitched out. Oh my gosh, these stars are killing me. They look so cute. I'm super excited. Okay, pick the red strawberry color of your choosing. My red of choice for this project is going to be a Madeira and it is 1637. Um, it's very red. I wouldn't call it a berry red. Like it's berry red as in it's very red, but it's not like B-E-R-R-Y red, just very red. All right, so um, we're on four. Color four is going to be this beautiful red. Let's stitch out our strawberries. Alright, pick out your favorite. 
favorite strawberry stem green because we're moving on to color number five which is going to be the greenery of our strawberries man the meaning of mambo number five also a good song but not what we're talking about pick out your green and let's get to it Okay, this point in the game, there's some decisions you need to make. You need to know what color you want the box of your milk carton to be. And it only matters because color number six is going to start to do some detail work of some of the inner corners and lines of your box and kind of some detail work on like, you know on the top of the milk carton has that like texture to it, we have little lines that are gonna stitch out like that. So it's, you're gonna want it to match the outline. I'm going to run with a gray, and it's a Madeira 1618, and that's the gray that I've chosen to use, and that's gonna be my color number six. Alrighty. So here we go. Number seven, we're on to color number seven. This is going to be like um, a drip. It's again like how those like drips on cakes that are really popular. We're doing a drip off the side of our milk carton. I'm choosing to use a really light colored pink from Gunold. It's 61477 and that's going to be the color you use. I thought I almost used ivory, but then I'm like, wait, but it's strawberry milk. It should be a light pink. So I'm going with like a very light, very muted pink. Oh my God, I'm dying. This pink is super perfect. I don't know how I even did that. I shock myself sometimes, but I'm loving this pink. Oh, it's giving me all the pink strawberry milk feels now moving on to color number eight in this design it's actually going to um, embroider out the word strawberry so again this one's going to be like whatever you think looks best just pick it um i don't have a recommendation i'm not really sure where i want to go with this i think i'm just going to straight up go for black because i don't want it to take away from the other elements of my design but yet still be bold so i think i'm going for black Okay, the lettering on this. I don't care for the one on the one and a half. I think I'm gonna omit it from the final design, but then I think I'm gonna blow this one up and it might overlap on the actual strawberry. I want to get more detail on the actual lettering, so I'm going to fix that. Boom. Fixed. Okay, so this is how it's going to go. Only the two inch and up will have strawberry on it. The smaller ones will not, so the one and a half and the one and three quarter will be blank. But the bigger ones, so from two to three inches, it will say strawberry okay cool now you need to get your back piece so go ahead and get your back piece because we need to cover up this party that's going on in the back take the hoop off the machine but do not unhoop and at this point you will take that back piece that you cut and you're gonna go ahead and temporarily adhere it to the back I went and used a quilters basting spray that's what I'm rolling with these days um, I go between that and a 505 temp spray. And we're gonna go ahead and put it back on and we're gonna do our finishing stitches. Last two colors on this design are finishing stitches. Let's run the first bean stitch. So this is when I was talking about how we wanted this color to match the outline of the milk carton. Cause we're gonna go ahead and finish the outside of the milk carton right now. So I went ahead and got this same matching color of milk and these lines. So let's go ahead and run it. Now go ahead and switch out for the very last color, color number 10, which is going to finish this tiny little section right here. So you need the same color you used for the drip on the milk box. 
and it's gonna be this tiny little stitch out. It's such a tiny run, and then we're gonna be done. Ta-da! And just like that, we finish all the 10 colors. Clean up your project, cut all your jumps and all the tails hanging out. Clean her up, and then at this point, you can take your hoop off of the machine. Take it off, unhoop it. Be sure you look at the back to make sure that the outline is complete because we cannot go back once we take this off. That's done. You take this off, remove all your stabilizer. If it's tear away, you're going to remove it now. If it's cut away, you'll cut it out when you cut out your felties. And then we just tear it out. Okay. Tear it up. And this is it. Oh my god, they're so cute. I can't. I really can't. I just can't with the strawberry. Super cute. I'm so glad I changed this up. So like I said, one and a half and the one and three quarters will not have strawberry. Strawberry would be on the two inch and up. We go from two inch and then there's a two and a quarter and a two and a three quarter and then, or is it two and a half? Two and a half. And then I have a three inch. So you can get a really cute, oh my god, these are so cute, I can't. And that's it, cut them out and do, do what you do. Do something cute with them. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram or Facebook at by Drea Designs. Okay friends, and just like that, we're done. I went ahead, I took all the stabilizer away and I did cut them out. So here's final take. This is the two inch, like I said, and this is the one and a half. Um, just a friendly reminder, the one and a half and the one and three quarters of an inch will not have the strawberry wording. Uh, didn't work out so well, so they'll only be in the size two inch and up to three inch. You'll see that. Otherwise, it's still cute though, even though it doesn't have it. You can still tell it's strawberry milk. It's still super cute. So, question, side note, real quick. Did anyone else have like an aversion to milk or didn't care for it or didn't like the way they tasted and their mom had to prepare it in a certain kind of way to trick you to drink it because you really didn't like it um let me know in the comments below i'm really curious because i've heard some different ways that <laughs> i know parents we trick kids into like eating foods by like you know cutting fruit into different shapes even though it tastes the same but it's like oh it's a cute flower or whatever i don't know what did you did anyone do anything like that or maybe there's something else that your mom did that was really clever now that you think about it as an adult let me know in the comments below don't forget about drea's felty friends facebook group it's great for those of you who are just getting your toe into embroidery you can go ahead and ask questions from other people get some free files to practice on or maybe you've been doing this for a while and you're a veteran get some free files you know files are cost money so why not have some free ones to add to your collection if you're like me i'm like a digital file hoarder and i just have like so many embroidery designs it's not even funny um or why why collecting them i don't know collect them all it's like pokemon you gotta collect them all uh, anyways so if you liked and enjoyed this video please subscribe don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that notification bell because that's how you find out when i've uploaded a new video very important you can also find me on facebook tiktokam tiktokam it's tiktokam it's tiktok and instagram together facebook tiktok instagram at by drea designs on tiktok i and instagram i post videos every single day of 60 seconds or less embroidery videos super fun yeah, it's just literally embroidery, you guys, if you're into that. Embroidery montage, period. 60 seconds or less every day. Get your fix. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you had as much fun as I did, and we'll see you next time. Bye!